I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. We like to drink Coke, move. I'm Jeff. I'm Dan. This is So Discussions. Yeah. Thank you for listening to that song that I just composed right now. They call me Weird Al Yankovic Jr. They call you Weird Al Yankovic. Because Jeff grew up in the South where he would yank people out of their new yep. cars. I would, I, I, would, I would sit down in the holler. And I don't have an Holland. accent anymore because I, I'm a Yankee now. He took elocution lessons. Yeah. I would. <laughs> for this. Yeah, I know. For soda stuff. I know standard broadcast. Right. I would sit down in the you holler. Don't even speak properly. <laughs> and the, the cars would drive by. And they didn't have doors. They couldn't afford the doors. Mm-hmm. You know, you just get whatever, half a car. Whatever you can afford, they yeah. sell you up a lot. And as they're going by, as they go uphill because they go <coughs> slower, yank! Mm-hmm. And then they go, ah, and I throw them into the crick, which is what. There goes weird Jeff Yankahick. <laughs> and, and they would be shaking their fists, and there would be crawdads hanging out of their hands mm-hmm. like that. And their car would roll back down, and as it would roll down, I'd jump in. And that's how you drove to Connecticut. And that's how I escaped the South. <laughs> and this was this was in 2021. Yeah, it was a weird time. <laughs> it's crazy, Dan. So Dan, 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 Dan. Jeff. What do you know about this? I know nothing about this. I'm Everything so glad. I know about this, I learned from this guy on TikTok named Jeff. Yeah, I, I did a, I tasted this already. Mm-hmm. Did a YouTube, a YouTube short and a ticking talk, uh, Instagram reels. We're on social media, guys. Check it out. Yeah, if find you us want on TikTok like, for like worse, shorter versions. Of yeah, because like this came out and I was like, the people need to know Jeff's opinion. The people. Weird Al, a communist. Yankahick. There's a kitty cat. What's up, peanut butter? so i recorded that and now we're recording this with dan and this is another co-creation the first one this year yeah i see the packaging and i'm like who's rosalia i don't know um apparently rosalia jump a little lighter senorita come sit by my fire i just want to be a coke ain't no liar rosie you're my strong desire all right you know, Jeff, in the summer of uh, 1969, you know, my dad, you know, my dad and me didn't get along. Oh, no. That's my Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, that's a good one. That's why I stopped singing because I yeah. wanted I wanted him to do it. But I'm glad you sang that. I was hoping you would because mm-hmm. it's like Rosalita, the name. Yeah. Um, what is it for real, though? Uh, she's just a, a singer. Cool. Thanks, peanut butter. <laughs> on, Fuck man. this cat. <laughs> First she jingled the microphone. And I was like, that's enough. She'll stop there. <laughs> And then she brought Bloops. holy terror. How is that possible? I don't, I don't know. Just... Brushed the light and broke it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We're back. Rosalia is a successful singer. I believe she's like a Grammy Award nominee. Really? Winner. Haven't heard one song. Ooh. Don't know. Don't you really know, care. Not listening to music produced after 1980 makes finding new music discoveries yeah. difficult. So this is transformation flavored. Dan, what do you expect from this? Because I, I kind of remember from when I tried it. What to I feel like it should start out tasting like one thing and end up tasting like another. That would be very cool. Let's see if Coke cares enough to make interesting products. It'll probably taste like Coke with some fruit flavor added to it. Wow. Let's try it, That's shall we? That's the trend. We're just going to do one can. I know. I, I mean, you could open it if you I want. I was messing. I was messing. So the thing April is, Fool's. It's he, April Fool's Day. April Fool's on Jeff. Boy, do I have cake on my face. Uh, yeah, uh, eight of these cans or ten of these cans are like $8. So definitely already not worth it. Already I didn't want to buy it. Ooh. That smells like Coca-Cola. Yes. Mixed with some sort of a raspberry pastry. Like an overly sweet raspberry tartlet. Mm, I could kind of see that, but I don't agree with you. Let's let's drink it. Mm. Mm. My initial thoughts while drinking that was like Coke with some kind of like roasted coconut. Interesting. But then as because this isn't this isn't bad. Right out of the, 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 the get-go, it's a fine soda. Is it mind-blowing? Is it transformative? Absolutely not. 
Is it in line with Coke just releasing boring flavors with great packaging and new names for us to buy them for inflated costs? Yes. Um, I like this. Yeah, it, it's pretty good. And then as I drank some more, I was kind of getting like an almond tone. Yeah, I can and, see And that. I don't know if that's just the coconutty flavor mix with like a regular Coke. Because if you have a regular Coke and you just let it sit there, not you're not soaking. You know what I mean? You're, afterwards, the aftertaste. Coke just inherently has a nutty flavor to it. Well, it's but made this, from a coca nut. You're right. But this is a cacao bean. Is, is nope. cocoa a bean? It's coca and it's a bean or a nut. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're just drinking nut juice. Mm -hmm. Just drinking it. Yeah, I think it's... We it's, do be drinking nut juice. I think it's good. Um, I like it. I mean, I have a weird thing that I like coconut flavored things, but I don't yeah. like actual coconut. Is it the texture? It's the texture. Yeah. It's the texture. I like the texture. It's crunchy. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's I don't mealy. Like... I don't like that you continuously chew coconut and it doesn't go away. It just gets smaller. <laughs> well, as I was telling you, I'm on season 14 of my Survivor binge. So and you have to like coconut. a lot of those seasons. They're just all they can get is coconut. So they're on like day 15 and they'll do like a little cutaway shot. And there's somebody in the background just sprawled out on a rock, just sadly eating like this huge <laughs> piece of coconut. Just like, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think this is probably on par with dream world. Um, as far as like being, it being good. If you want to see what we thought about the other co-creations. There's a check, link right up here. Yeah, there's individual episodes. You can check out the Soul Blade episode where we drank all of them in Let's a row. Let's put Jimmy to the test. Uh, here's a link to Dream World. He's shaking there. his head now. He's not going to do where it. Where else are we going to put one? Up here? We can put one. Boop. Right there. I booped his little nosy. So what do you th what do you think about this? What would you rate it? Well, I like it. I mean, as far as the other co-creations, we differ because I really like Starburst or Starlight, Starlight whatever the fuck it's called. I like the candy Starburst. Yeah. I don't as much. It's okay. Yeah, it's so you um, think that kind of tastes like Starlight? I could see that kind of. I definitely like Jeff's call out of coconut and almond. Almond. I've heard people... Oh, oh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's so violent. I've heard people do the coconut comparison. Um, I, I wanted to taste it before I watched any videos. I many haven't... people. Many, many Magic many, the Gathering many players asked the question. have said... A lot of jokes going on great right Great things. Now, um, but I haven't heard anybody call it almond. Maybe I'm just stupid, but I, I stand by it. I Do think... you try to pronounce the L in almond? I say almond. Almond. Almond is how my family says it, but I think you need a little bit more L than that. Who doesn't pronounce the L? Who says almond? I think my mom. Your mom says my almond? What are they so. going to church? Almond. Almond. <laughs> Jimmy, how do you pronounce it? Almond. He's... Almond. You're just saying that, guys. All, no everybody's almond. almond. Some people say almond, but those are almond. old people. Aluminium. We're British now. Yeah. Yeah. They I like an it. There's... If you wanted me to give it out of a 10, I actually think it's a really nice pairing with the Coke. Whereas sometimes I feel like the extra flavor is just like, it doesn't mesh. It's just like slapped right. on top. I don't really love like some of the peach and mango notes that the other Dream Worlds have. I think this one meshes better. I think it enhances the flavor of the Coke rather than the tracks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would give this out of 10. I'm going to go with like a 7.5. I, I thought he was going to say an 8. I would give it a 7. It's a solid soda. Um, yeah, but like I said, it, it's, it doesn't feel special. Like these Coke creations are, you know, you would hope that they feel special or they're like some kind of crazy thing that where in 20 years people are going to be like, bring back Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Nobody's going to say bring back Coke Move. Do you think that these are merely a testing ground for a future no. Coke wide release? I think that these are easy for them to make because they just put in a couple drops of their flavoring. Boop, yeah. boop, boop. They get new packaging, which they just have to pay you know some graphic designers to do. They ship it out. People buy it. I pay the, the extra cost. Well, I would never buy a, a case of 10 mini cans of Coke for $8, but I did for this. I would probably never buy like a 20 ounce of Coke for two twenty five or two fifty at a grocery store. No, but what if they, all the Coke moves were gone, say for five years. Yeah. Uh, I mean, co-creations. Let's say all the co-creations were done for five years and then they bring back the Coke flavors, just simple, like cherry Coke, vanilla Coke. And then what if they're like coconut milk Coke? That would be better than the orange vanilla Coke that, like, was their main lineup. I haven't even seen that in a while. I no. don't think it's a thing. But that was, like, an official, like, mainstay. This is one of our core flavors. Right. 
It like, I almost wonder good. if these were testing grounds to be like, one day is there going to be a peach Coke? No, and, and I think that, like, we don't know who Rosalia is, but she's a successful artist, and a lot of people do. And they're reaching out to different demographics. They're reaching out to Rosalia's fans. They're reaching out to Marshmallow's fans, who there's probably not a huge overlap. So one further question for you. Since nowadays, everyone wants their 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. And every white person has a podcast. And most white people Call have YouTube out. series. Call me out. Uh, what percentage of co-creation are purchased by people who are making content with them? I would say a very small amount. I would say it's large. You think the majority of people buying Coke Move are doing it to review? I think we're speaking to an audience of soda reviewers right now. And no actual soda <laughs> consumers. <laughs> Likely. Yeah, that's... I mean, I'm I don't say, when, by the way, high and low is relative, but I'm going to say 30% of Coke no range No way, dude. No way. What's okay. Your in, in comparison. So I like Magic the Gathering. <laughs> but in like, when you go on Magic Twitter, it's like huge. There's Magic, magic celebrities and they have hundreds of thousands of followers. But like the amount of like content creators of Magic, when I watch it, I'm like, these guys are like, you know, low level celebrities to me, the percentage of people who even go on magic Twitter compared to the people who play the game is like 1%. It is such a small percentage of people. The amount of people buying this to review it, 0.001% of consumers. Who's buying it though? We can never find it anywhere because it's limited because you put it out there. This is only going to be up for a couple months. Buy it. No, people buy it, dude. By the way, Magic Twitter is like Black Twitter, but much sadder. It's pretty funny. There's some good shit on Magic Twitter. <laughs> Any like hyper specialized Twitter is great to the people that it's aimed towards. Mm. Shout out to Elon Musk. Sh- shout out to Truth Social. They Even they right. know what they're doing. Do you think there's a magic truth soul truth? <laughs> I hope so. We can go on there. There's going to be like like 10 hashtags total. And they're posting like memes, like a card that's like liberal snowflake minus five to every deck or some shit like that. <laughs> we should that. make a soda discussions, truth social, and just like be part of, we would be like the biggest soda reviewers on truth social. I'm getting on that. I don't want to do no, that. No, I don't want them to take my data and do things with it. Yeah. So this is Coke Move. Uh, I don't know what the next Coke creation is. We'll find out and we'll drink it for you. So you don't have to. I liked it. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Like and subscribe. Don't miss an episode. They're, they're good. They're okay. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, we're done. <laughs> you did it. When was the last time we did that? Oh, man. A hot minute days? ago, I remember. Cool. So I've tried this, and I did too. Yeah, in Vegas, in so the actual Coke store. Doing? Yeah. You guys should give a review before you taste to see if you remember. I remember it tasting like a shittier version of Starlight. I don't remember I've why. Completely forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> I like. I, I was in Vegas, and it was a long day. We were yeah. walking all around the strip. Yeah. I. uh... I tried this. I was like, oh. Yeah. And then blank. My my memory went blank. Yeah. What and then I lost all in? my money. Oh, no. Gambling. Yeah. What hotel did he say? In? The Luxor. Oh, yeah. nice. A little I've never been there. Pyramid thing. I stayed in the Flamingo. Oh, when nice. I was there. Yeah. yeah, that smell just like, it just like harkens back to Scarlet to me. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I don't know. I can't like place my thumb on it. I place can't, my thumb. Uh, it's like sweet. It's like yeah. really sweet. It's very sweet. It tastes like and soda? Like, it does. It's it soda. It does taste like soda. This is soda. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Kind of reminds me of like the marshmallow flavor a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. The, the peepsy. Yeah. A little starlight. Similar. A little, little peepsy. Yeah. I can see that. I, I guess there's like some fruit, something in there. A little bit. But I can't really taste it that much. Yeah. I'm not, not too high on this co-creation. Yeah. Not great. She has one popular song on TikTok. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I used it for my Do you know short. the dance? No. <laughs> I don't know the dance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I dance, dance, dance with my hand. That's not her. That's Lady Gaga. Okay. Yeah.
and it's sped up. Underwhelmed. 